Well, for today's adventure, we got a little bit of a different one. We're actually heading to the 65th annual uh, Apple Festival in Gays Mills, Wisconsin. Something that our family does is a family trip once a year. So I just stopped to pick my mom up for our trip and there's a wild turkey. Oh, there's two of them walking across their driveway there. But we're late as usual, so I don't really have time to run down there and chase them. Well, we're at our Wendy's restaurant right next to the Mississippi River before we go into Wisconsin and everybody's here. Except for we're not last. We're still waiting, I think, on two people yet. So that's kind of a first for us. Usually we are last. We're off for our trip across the Mississippi River right now. Going past the casino. quite a few cars in our group here. This place went from not so busy to completely packed. But we're gonna go in and uh, check this little store out. Here in Fenimore is a crazy selection of any kind of cheese you could possibly want. That stuff's stinky. After getting a bag of uh, cheese curds and watching everybody shuffle around for 47,000 pictures. We're just about ready to leave again. Well, we just made it to our first orchard stop. We're at Sunrise Orchards, right outside of uh, Gay's Mill. I keep wanting to say Wisconsin Dells for some reason, but probably because we're in Wisconsin. So we're gonna go and check out the fresh apples they have in here. And this is our other place where we get bombarded with pictures and we do our family picture every year, so. Pumpkins must not be doing very good this year because usually this whole area is completely covered in pumpkins. So it has been a dry year, but it looks like they got some monsters. We'll check out the inside. How's the apple cider, Matt? Free samples of apple cider, free apple slices to try your favorite flavor. <laughs> a little bit of everything else that they can sell you. Yeah. Apple butter, yeah. high filling, apple sauce. And here's the uh, second stop where everybody has to get their pictures taken. And we try and get everybody to smile and be happy at the same time, which is tough. Pictures are complete. We're off to the next stop, and I think it's a bakery at the next one. I'm not mistaken. Can't remember. Now we're actually in by all the apple trees. Pretty much both sides of the road are nothing but apples up here. And it looks like they got some uh, evergreen trees down there. But our next stop is right here at the Apple Delicious High Depot. quick view of what they have for sale here at this place. They make all these pies fresh. And there's all kinds of cookies and pastries. Oh yeah. The deliciousness of a caramel apple pie. Mm -hmm. She only wants the top half, of course. <laughs> Why eat the part you don't like? So the second orchard we stop at after the baked goods is the Fleming Orchard where this place you can actually go inside and they'll give you a basket and you can pick your own if you want to go through the work of taking them off the tree. You can pick your own apples in this whole field here. And they usually have goats up in here, but it looks overgrown, so I'm guessing the goats aren't there, but we'll go check and see. Oh no, there's something there. Oh, cute. They used to have a pulley system on a bucket where you take the feed, put it in a bucket, and run it up a rope onto that platform, and the goats would go all the way up to get it, but they don't have that anymore, so kids just get to feed them through the fence. Got some cool Amish buggies in here, too. That's 
pretty cool. And our third orchard is the Kickapoo Orchard, established in 1913. So this one actually has a corn maze. Well, they usually have a corn maze. I can't say that they still have it because I haven't been over there yet. But we're going to go inside and see what we can find here. Tons of apples, I bet. It's a selection of just about anything you'd want in a pickle jar. And every kind of pickled egg that you could want. Not me. I will pass on the pickled eggs. They also have a large assortment of other like non-apple related products, soaps and things. Just mm, that's smelly stuff. Ah. Lotion. And here's the activity at this place, which is the corn maze to get lost in the sunflowers and the corn which doesn't seem to be very thick this year or very tall, so it looks like everybody can kind of see their way through it, but see people way down in there. But then that's all apple trees. Well, we made it to the main Sunrise Orchard, and it's insane how many people are here. On the day that this was supposed to be the slower of the two days for this weekend, because there's not even a parade tonight, this uh, this entire place is absolutely packed. I'll take a quick shot in and try not to be too big of a creeper. But the Apple Festival brings many people to Gaze Mills. We're actually getting some nice color out of the trees up here, though. Definitely got some reds and oranges coming in. Well, we're finally done with this stop. And this is the point where pretty much the whole family breaks up and everybody does what else they want to do. So we're going to go downtown. Are we checking out the little thrift shops? Stuff in downtown? Yes, of course we are. All we? right, and then we're going to go to the thrift market after that, right? I'm ready to. Okay. All right, so we made it to downtown Gaze Mills where they have all kinds of different vendors set up on the side of the road. And people having what it looks like garage sale of arts and crafts. Mark on the thing. Wow. That was the water level. That was the flood water in 18. It's uh Yeah, we were we came not down here obviously, but we saw it flooded. It was a couple times we've been here when it was that one was cool was that those two levers broke. Oh it's a surprise, you know? and, Yeah. And Belle bought a surprise box, so we're gonna see what she got. All right, it's very well taped up, girly. Thank you. Make it it's difficult. It's taped up so that. <laughs> so there's no peeking. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> oh. It's actually for tailing. <gasps> oh yeah. Okay. So taped. Ready? Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. It matches oh. my shirt. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to put this on a chain. Thank you so much. So we got live music and just tons of different vendors from food to t-shirts to jewelry to rocks. Kind of a little bit of everything for everyone. So we here we are taking a look at the dam that made Gaze Mills, Gaze Mills. This dam was put in in the uh, 18, I have to look it up again, I don't remember the exact date, but it started with a sawmill and then it turned into a flour mill downstream somewhere and that's what developed this entire area into Gaze Mills. And with the soil being fertile and having great flavor for the apples, they chose to plant apples here, so anyway. It's all the damn pictures I got for you. But to checking out all the vendors, I think we are headed to the flea market, which is almost gonna close, so we might not actually get in, because it's almost four or something right now, so. Well, and the final stop for the Apple Festival is always the uh, flea market, where we go look at a bunch of stuff we really don't need, but usually we end up finding a few things, so we'll have to kind of check it all out and see what's here. 
There's a lot of different vendors that come with a lot of different stuff. So if you see anything really cool, I'll turn it back on. And if you're into signs for a man cave, this guy's got a whole bunch of them here. It's like a lot of work to move the furniture here though. Like every cement statue you could want for your front yard. Painted or unpainted apparently. The choice is yours. That's cool. It's a licensed shoe GM. I saw that on the back. It's on the front. The bees definitely like the sugar drink over here, I think. Well, I have to say, I've been doing this to trucks for a long time where you turn them into a trailer, but I've never done it with a minivan. So that's interesting. But I guess it's like a truck with the topper and a little bit extra storage in the front. Could work. There's some pretty cool recycled items turned into furniture. Because when did you guys get here? Oh, that's fun, this turtle. So yeah, there's a big mix of just about everything. Got clothes and shoes to household items and glassware. All right, well, successfully I made it through the flea market without buying anything except for water, which is a good thing because we really don't need any more stuff at our house. Um, did find a couple cool things, um, but we are driving from here to Marquette and we're gonna drive up to the top of Pikes Peak and look out to where the Wisconsin River dumps into the uh, Mississippi. So we have an awesome drive through the back roads and it's a beautiful day. So ladybugs hanging out on my car upside down here. We'll help them off. I actually think that was a box elder bug, not a ladybug. Well the leaves haven't gone into full fall colors yet but there's definitely some changing. drive on these back roads in Wisconsin up here. Well, we made it to Marquette, Iowa. Well, almost. We're in Prairie Sheep, Wisconsin. And we're crossing the Mississippi River again on a completely different bridge, much more north than Dubuque. And you can't really see a ton. So we drive by this pink elephant all the time and it's a casino. So we decided we'd stop here and see what it's like inside. This is a plaque that's out front that tells the history of the pink elephant. Overlook 
own shelter straight ahead. I don't think it costs anything because I, I think, think we're so already in. We're in there. So, no, anyway, so Pikes Peak, which is a very famous automotive racing mountain, was actually discovered after Pikes Peak, Iowa, because the same dude found this place first. We're gonna go check it out. So here's our stop at Pikes Peak, 1130 feet above sea level. What's really cool here is you can actually see this is the Wisconsin River coming out here and you can see all the sand. We get a lot of our sand that comes in the Mississippi River out of Wisconsin from up by Wisconsin Dells that flows down the river. It's kind of an awesome sunset haze over there considering the sun's behind us this is the you can read that if you want but yeah it shows the wisconsin river over here and it comes out of the mouth of the Wisconsin River, which is that area right over here. Pretty cool. That's the bridge we came across. The short part and then the longer part was on this side where the casino boat was. And so, yeah, Pikes Peak, Iowa. All right, well, sun's almost going down, so it's gonna get dark. We got a long drive ahead, so it's the last view of the Mississippi and Wisconsin River from here. Absolute perfect day. So we're about halfway home, we decided to stop for dinner in Guttenberg, Iowa. And so we're at the Lock and Dam. And there's a barge actually coming right into Lock and right now. Anyway, this is an old German town right on the edge of the Mississippi. It's a really cool little town with all kinds of different little shops all through here. This one is 1904. 1895, that one was built. Some definite old buildings here, right on the edge of the Mississippi.